Hi, who are you? It is the most common question to get someone's identification. But how many questions are needed to truly identify you? Well, if I ask for your passport number, then I will probably be done. But what if you could only answer using yes or no? Then how can someone identify you using the least amount of questions? Are you a male? With this question, we can narrow down the 8 billion population to 4 billion. Is your age greater than or equal to 31? With this question, we can narrow down the 4 billion to 2 billion. Now, if you could ask such a question that would divide the population in half each time, we would need a maximum of 33 questions to narrow it down to just one specific person in this world. This is possible because every time we ask a question, we divide the population by two. And after 33 divisions, it becomes less than one. To see how this actually works, check this. I have CCTV footage of a parking lot that is over 50 minutes long. Now I wanna know at exactly what point this car left this parking lot. I will first move to the halfway point of the video and found out that the car has already left. That means there is no way the car could be left in this half. It must have left within this half. Now I will move to the halfway point of this park and found out that the car is still there. That means the car must have left within this park. When I moved to the halfway point of this park and found out that the car was still there, which means the car should be moved within this park. After repeating this for a few times, I found out that a dude was approaching this car and left at around after 25 minutes. This thing that could take 25 minutes just takes practically 10 seconds. This is how effective this method is. This method, or an algorithm you might say, is known as the binary search. We use it all the time on computers to run our program faster, but you can use it in your normal life, as we just did with the CCTV footage. Lastly, to truly understand how powerful this algorithm really is, if it takes 33 questions to identify one person from 8 billion people, how many more questions do you think it would take to identify one person from 16 billion people? We would need one more question than 8 billion to identify one person from 16 billion people. Because by asking one question, you can narrow down the 16 billion to 8 billion.